recall earlier this year, Prince Harry sat down with the NBC network for that sort of wide ranging interview of which he'd just recently been to see our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. But it was the chat that followed afterwards that shocked many different people. Seemingly, of course, he revealed at that particular chat just how close he was to the late monarch. And if you recall, he also stated just how she and him had their very unique and special relationship, of which apparently she could only speak to him about things about. You do remember the conversation because during that chat, he said that he popped in to see our late monarch to make sure that the right people were around her. Of course, this caused a lot of controversy simply because when you think about it, the right people were indeed around her. Angela Kelly, Edward Young, of course, all of her children. But Harry seemed to think that by popping in for 10 minutes and disappearing, he was making this rather unique effort. But as one source told me, this is truly the background as to why he decided to go down this particular route in his latest adventure. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of an autumnal London. Hope you're all keeping well today. Nice to see you as ever. Welcome on an all brand new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Hope you're enjoying what we're bringing you on a daily basis. Filmed entirely on location uh, around different spots and of course around uh, the United Kingdom as well. We were up in Wakefield recently outside that brilliant and gorgeous cathedral, which as I told you was the, uh, shall we say, the catalyst of a man who gave us a wonderful song, The Lambeth Walk. Check out that video if you've got an opportunity. Back as ever though to your breaking roll story of the day. A lot of people really were shocked, weren't they, by Prince Harry's book, um, you know, particularly called Spare. A rather sort of, shall we say, um, hmm, callous, for, callous sort of title when you think. Nobody discussed him being the Spare other apparently than his late mother, Princess Diana. But as we now know with that chat with NBC News earlier this year, he decided to claim or reveal, shall we say, uh, that he had daily chats with his mother and she was his guiding light. In fact, if you remember the quote, he said that he felt that she was looking down on him now through his time, having got his elder brother, uh, Prince William, of course, our uh, Prince of Wales, settled with his three children and more importantly, a beautiful wife in the Princess of Wales, Catherine. So, of course, according to a very good source, it's interesting to note that now he's quoting this particular validation as to the reason why he sat down with a ghostwriter to reveal all about his life to date, including the bombshells that apparently people are going to have to look out for and decide for themselves. Now, when you think about this, this claim isn't that too removed, if you think, because literally his late mother, Princess Diana, did the very same thing with the author, journalist, Andrew Moulton for her bombshell publication, Her True Story. Do you remember that? Way back in the early 90s. She claimed she never actually sat down with him, but that's always been a bit debatable. What she did do though was allow friends, family, and secret notes to be passed back and forth out of Kensington Palace to make sure that her definitive words were put down. This apparently is exactly what Prince Harry is doing himself. He wants his version of events to be out there so people who are outraged he says can look back allegedly to those people and uh, the way that she was treated now a lot of people are saying you know he's just been a difficult child he should really know better at his age really he's decided to quit the monarchy and he wants his version of events out there but what this book can really do is far more damaging particularly on the year of the coronation next year on may the 6th of his father king charles the third but as i say According to that very good source, very close to Harry, who's dealt with him on a daily basis regarding this particular publication, he sees this sign as a sign from his late mother, and he's not going to be relinquishing, rechanging, removing anything. Apparently this is his story in his words, and apparently he's 100% proud of exactly what's inside the book. Only we will know in the early part of 2023 exactly what his mother's guiding voice, hand, or whatever else Prince Harry thinks is happening to him over there in California has told him to put down into words. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.